Hey there guys, Josh on Drastic here, and today is a little bit different, okay? What I, what you're about to watch is a old video. Uh, I might have mentioned it in one of my previous videos. Uh, I mentioned me editing a video of me and my sister, or at least this is the video I, ha I have been trying to edit for uh, the past couple days. And uh, unsuccessfully, I have edited the video. <laughs> unsuccessfully I still edited the video I just don't know how good it is and so I mean and obviously between now and when I edit or recorded the video I had not bought in my light I had not started recording with my phone you know there was a there's a lot of stuff that's happened between now and then even though it was just a couple of days um, so it the quality is not going to be as good uh as I would hope but hopefully you still enjoy the video between me and my sister that we made together since you guys blew up the last video that we were in together I brought her back so this is the common cock can't say that word uh but anyways I hope you enjoy and, uh, yeah. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, Josh from Drastic here, and I'm here with my Kaylee, sister again. It's me! Yep. And we're gonna blow up, because we're so cool. Is that so? No. No? Alright. Well, today we're, re we're, wah, 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 we're reacting to uh, Nuke's Top 5. Five scary ghost videos. So scary that they should ban TikTok. Which I don't quite understand what that they means. They almost did ban TikTok, actually. I I know that's stuff we don't really didn't. need to talk about. <laughs> but they didn't. Fix the light. Okay, you don't need to do that. <laughs> okay. I'm already tired of it. Um. Ouch. Anyways, guys, uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoy this kind of content. Subscribe if you're new. I do this kind of stuff daily. Uh, normally. Yesterday, I know I didn't upload, but I do this stuff daily. I record 10 to 12 videos and choose whichever one is Hi. the scariest out of the 12, and I upload that one for that day. But, yeah, without further ado, let's go. Let's get right into it. All right. <laughs> Top 5 Ghosts Caught Calling on camera. camera. Randonautica See? Revisited. It's revisited. You might recognize and TikTok it's... user Matt Hall from a previous <laughs> video I did about Randonautica. So I saw this thing that a lot of people were doing on TikTok called Randonauting. It's an app that you download and it gives you a completely random location no. close to you that Don't you go to and apparently home. it's supposed to be I a did. glitch in the simulation or something like that. What the f*** was that? Are they showing just the same video? Don't show the same video. Oh, no. <laughs> I still don't like that. Is there that. anybody here? And she's like, you wanna, oh, play, a <laughs> wanna play a game? No! <laughs> yes, I think I think. Now, since his terrifying encounter oh, in the woods, Matt Hall yeah, claims that he has one. had a new and even more horrifying encounter Gosh. at his job. You ready? Matt says that Imagine late one night, when job. he was working the overnight shift, a security camera at his work started beeping. Now, the security camera has motion sensors and only starts beeping when someone or something disrupts the sensor. Naturally, Matt immediately went to check the camera. He was chilled to the core when he saw this. Oh, he's shaking. It's literally somebody yeah. outside, like, dragging a bag at my work. <laughs> Yo, you I'm freaking sorry, out, though. In case something happens. It's a body bag. I, I can't see. I can't see his face. Where's he? Coming? He's literally running down to the door. He's coming up to the door right now. Is it locked? It better be locked. He, oh my fucking god! <laughs> no! He's outside the door. He's outside the door right now. Outside. Why don't no, you? There's nowhere to hide in here. I'm literally. It's just this one room. The door. Yeah, the door is locked. But he's so scared. He's like behind the building now. Hmm. I, don't, I don't. Can you just get here, please? Really? Matt frantically <laughs> calls 911 to summon the police. While on the phone with the emergency no, operator, the outdoor CCTV camera records a man dragging what looks like a trash bag right in front of the building's exit. 
Matt says that the police came and searched the area surrounding the building, but they couldn't find anyone. Even more baffling, the garbage bag the man was carrying was simply stuffed full of old clothes. So was this so encounter somehow charged, connected to Matt's like, previous random like, nodding experience? Was it even real? Or was it just a TikTok hoax? Mm. You decide. German Reddit user Overhype13 claims that he and his friends were randonauting when they were led to the middle of nowhere, Stop a seldomly traveled walking path in the woods in Germany. They had pretty much given up finding anything, when they suddenly spotted a mysterious flower and a plaque on a tree. Okay, also, warte, warte, warte. Wir haben eine neue Intention gesucht. Also wir haben eigentlich ohne Intention gesucht. Er hat den Point angemacht. Und wir waren irgendwie so mitten im Wald. Ja, warte. Also, ja, ist, wer ist das? Der Radius. Wir sind halt direkt da beim Radius. Ja, Punkt ist da. Ist ja, wir sind auf jeden Fall im Radius. Und ähm, jetzt haben wir die Gegend abgesucht, also ist so ein kleiner, so ein kleiner Weg. Wir haben die Gegend abgesucht. Hier ist halt nichts. Hier war halt nichts. Bis wir eine Blume gesehen haben. Just a flower? Ich filme das mal. A flower and a plaque. Hier ist, eine, hier ist halt so ein Schild. Tilo, guter Freund, Ruhe und Frieden. Das haben wir erst gar nicht gesehen. That's Aber weird. jetzt achte aufs Datum. 24.07. Welches Datum haben wir heute? Sag's mal. Uh, wir haben einfach den fucking 24. Junge, Mann. Vor wir, zwei Jahren. Wir haben, das war genau vor genau Yo. zwei Jahren. Wir haben das fucking gleiche Datum. Ey, das so. kann doch kein Zufall sein. Das ist weird. Als ob das genau vor zwei Jahren war. So, so, als ob hier jemand vor zwei Jahren gestorben ist. Scheiße. Reddit user Overhype13 says that after he did some extensive Google searching to find the man named Tilo, who passed away exactly two years ago on the exact spot where Randonautica sent them, well, did he, just die he there? wasn't able to find anything. Well. Overhype13 believes that there is no way the Randonautica app could have known about the memorial sign that shared the same date as their exploration. This mysterious incident remains unexplained. That's weird. TikTok user Tyler Vasquez oh, says that, that after watching many strange Taylor videos Taylor. about the Randonautica app, she simply had to try it out for herself. The app gives her a location about a mile and a half from her home. So she travels there and documents her experience. Mine was the location she is led to is a secluded rode, creek surrounded by woods. What happens next is downright chilling. Alright, so I think I gotta go. Uh. This way down a creek. All right, that's what I found so far. Pretty nice. creepy. I'm gonna go see what that is. Okay, so I just opened up <laughs> one of the photos, and it's whatever the f that that's is. That's terrifying. Then we have these random three. This one's a It's Your Birthday with the snowman with... I don't know. And these two I just put together. It's like, play with me. All right, I think it was just my imagination. I think I'm just hearing but I'm trying to read these. I swear I'm friendly. Play with me. <gasps> Taylor finds creepy drawings scattered all nah. around the rocks that look like they've been Weep. drawn by a child. I didn't then hear she hears it. the no, unexplained voice of a little girl I heard it. and I didn't just it. runs. When Taylor Vasquez posted her video to TikTok, her viewers suggested that the creepy little voice actually says, you hide and I'll find you. Play with me. Nah. <gasps> nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. After many requests Don't by her viewers, me. Taylor returns to the creek three days later to find out more about the strange drawings. So I just hiked the mile back to the land on hunting spot. Brought a flashlight as a weapon this time. As you can see, there's no one around me. I'm trying nice to go weapon. quick so that I don't waste too much time. Like I should just grab them all really quick if they have messages on them because then like those look I like hear. symbols. She Did apparently she not doesn't. Hear that? Wait, it's not they mean. Stop taking them. I'm scared to stay that long. I'm so fucking no drunk. I'm taking that too. Alright, so I grabbed everything. I don't really see anything else. So like, Did it say you're going to die? Nice is there again, but it's now quieter, and Taylor doesn't really it hear like it at it first. The, tunnel, it was like the soft little voice seems to say, you're not my family, you're gonna die if you don't go. They have messages on them, because then, like those look like symbols. 
Taylor collects many more Stop. strange drawings that are Stop. scattered Leave around the area. Just but leave. then the Just voice get gets out. louder and says, I don't really die. see anything else. Like. Later, she posts her video, and when she reads the viewer comments, she makes another shocking discovery. Okay, so I don't have a lot of time right now, but I saw this comment and I'm kind of hyperventilating, freaking out. This girl posted that she saw a f***ing oh my God. child in my video. That is scary. No one was with me and tell me if you guys chills. think that looks like a ghost child because I don't oh. f***ing know. But I didn't know if she photoshopped it or not. So I went to my videos and I screenshotted the exact part that she shows right there. And I see the face too. Oh my and so now I'm actually freaking the f out. I'm I super bet. terrified. I don't know what to do. I didn't see anyone or hear anything until that voice happened, but it just sounded like an echo. So I don't know. Can I don't know. You guys tell me what you see, but it's that right child. there looks like it's a, a child. face to me. I don't know. Now, what do you think Taylor caught on camera? Is it real? Or is it just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. What's at the window? I don't CJ know. from the YouTube channel CJ Long Crow's Logs is exploring the abandoned and allegedly very haunted Crow Creek Reservation High School in Stephen, South Dakota. The school and the land it sits on has a very dark and creepy history. In 1886, the Catholic Church set up a boarding school for Native American children on this land, and then basically forced the reservation children to attend. From the day the boarding school opened, the land seemed cursed. Crops and trees planted on the grounds wouldn't grow. Random unexplained fires destroyed many of the buildings, and the schoolhouse was directly hit and almost wiped out by wow. not one but two different tornadoes. But each time, That's the Catholic Church would simply rebuild the boarding school on the same ground. But why? One of the school's darker stories involves a nun named Sister Wilhelmina Kaufman. On January 12, 1888, during a blizzard, the nun left the school building to go to the laundry house next door. Even though the buildings were very close together, Probably right. she got lost in the yep. blinding yeah. snow and couldn't find her way back to the school. And she died. The next morning, her, her body was, was found, found kneeling in the deep snow. She had frozen to death only 100 feet from the school's door. Okay? Cut to modern day. People who live near the Crow Creek Reservation High School report seeing many strange and frightening things. It is said that the terrifying no. apparition of a nun can be seen roaming the grounds, and some claim that they have seen dark shadow figures wandering the school's hallways. CJ like Longcrow happens to have a friend that lives on the Crow Creek Reservation. Yo, he's got the same headphones right as me. Next to the allegedly haunted school, so not only was CJ able to explore the abandoned building, but he spent the entire night right beside the creepy school grounds. Why? So early in the night, CJ and his friends head out to explore the school. They find some strange graffiti on the walls. And even more bizarre, a floor full of dead birds. Oh. Holy f Those oh. are dead birds? Birds don't just die like that. But even more alarming are the aggressive living birds and bats that have made their home inside the abandoned Pet school. Pet bat went full on attack mode. <laughs> Sound like something moved down there. A bat. Here, let's, go, let's do this one first. Full on attack mode. Oh, f oh, f oh, f oh, f oh, f <laughs> oh, that's a, a fucking owl, bro. Oh, it's an owl. That's a fucking owl. I mean, like the higher we got up, like it seems like that's. <laughs> oh. <f> <laughs> just leave. Just, just leave. Bro, we just want to get by. They're like nah. birds on crack, dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be After a few funny. angry bird and bat attacks, the guys they decide to finish owl. up their exploration and just exit the school. <laughs> but the creepy oh. story doesn't end there. Now, as I mentioned before, CJ is sleeping overnight in a house that is right next to the abandoned school building. Smart. So late that night, while his friends are sleeping, he decides to take a walk Why? around the haunted school grounds. Smarter. It didn't go well. Of course it didn't. Oh. Everyone else is asleep, so. 
Oh, dude, like, it's so creepy out here, because I heard so many f***ing stories, like, just so many stories of, like, I just, I just can't. <laughs> but, it is pretty f***ing creepy out here, though, you know, I'm not gonna lie, like, bleh. I mean, just look at this building. Yeah, that's a person. Oh. That's a person. Bro, 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 bro. That's ah. a person! Bro, 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 bro. CJ spots some shadowy figure walking by the abandoned school's third story window. Yeah, he freaks out and runs inside to wake up his friend Phil, asking him to join him to go check out the strange shadow. It's gone. When they reach the third floor window where you, CJ saw the figure, why would you go what they in find there? is truly know. bizarre. Okay guys, so this is exactly, this is exactly, bro, where could I have gone though? It's exactly where the f Anywhere. I saw it. Oh. I don't want to see inside there. Custodian? Closet? Yeah. That's Maybe, where it uh, walked. He's gonna get shot in or something. Now even though the shadow that CJ saw seems to appear from one side and walk quickly past the window, there's just nowhere to walk. Yeah, there's not enough. There's a concrete room. wall on one side of the window, and a tiny empty janitor's closet well, on the other. they could have gone in the closet. So where did the shape go? Through the wall. Did CJ Longcrow see one of the strange shadow apparitions that are said to haunt the Crow Creek High School? You decide. That's horrifying. You can check out CJ's full exploration video over on his YouTube channel, CJ so Longcrow's fake. Logs. What? Disappearing Act. Reddit wow. user Edgy Christendom says Edgy. that he and his girlfriend were exploring an abandoned mental asylum in Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah, yeah, when this happens. Why always Maryland? Mer I almost hit that <laughs> Yo, this f***ing place is crazy, bro. Oh, mom's. What the f***? Hey. What? Go. Go. I Go. swear I just see something. Yeah, I just see did. something. <laughs> Babe. Careful, because it could be a real human. Yeah, I don't know why they're like charging after it. Bro, what the? <laughs> he turns just in time to catch a dark figure moving through one of the doors. But when he follows, there's no one there. Edgy Christendom doesn't necessarily claim that the video is anything supernatural. And he says that it could have simply been a homeless person living in the building. Yeah, sure. But if this was a person, where then did where did they go? Let me know what you think. <laughs> Camp Nowhere. Well, that sounds the popular bad. YouTube Real Urbex nice. channel Exploring, Exploring with, Josh. with Josh travels to what is rumored yeah. to be an abandoned summer Exploring camp in the Catskill Mountains of southeastern New York. The remains of the camp are in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by woods. Josh and his friends explore the mysterious site and discover that it was a former religious summer camp for children. Mm. Turns out, the religious, religious camp was built in the 1950s camp. and operated for at least 15 years before being abandoned for unknown reasons. As Josh and his friends it's enter one of the decaying buildings yep. on the property, they find a strange surprise. Yo! What? what? Right there. Whoa. What the hell? This Whoa. is creepy! Whoa! It's this all is a fine. It's all still up. For real. What the heck? Who did that? You think explorers did it, or it was just up like this? Either satanic ritual cult people, or maybe explorers? I don't know, guys. This is freaking creepy. Look Where is this? this? Dude, who really hung all this up? Like New York. Kind of cool. I like it. Dude, someone hang up, was hanging out masks up there. So these are, these are um, obviously people, but that looks like the rain one. <laughs> The grudge or the That's rain. That's a stretch. Tell me not. That is a stretch. <laughs> yeah, on the calendar it says 2001, so unless this place wouldn't abandon 2001, this is our only trace at the moment of like any sort of uh, timeline. A calendar on the wall dates all the way back to March 2001, so the camp has likely been abandoned for over 19 years. Yep. Josh splits off from his friends who Smart. are taking pictures of the abandoned That's what I would buildings. Do. Yeah. While exploring alone, he finds a broken down RV. Like he goes inside to take a look and accidentally captures something chilling. What? Body? Jeez. Well, there's nothing in here. Oh my god, that the was scary! That was a hand. That was a full-on yeah. hand. That was a full-on hand, Kay. 
That was okay. a hand. It just went. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. Well, Josh didn't Was either. someone on the but roof? Soon after he no. enters the RV, a mysterious small hand can be seen hitting the skylight on the roof. It's like. Ch now, Josh didn't notice the unexplained little hand, but when he posted his video to YouTube, his viewers were shocked. Some of them think that this could be the ghost of one of the children that stayed at the camp long the ago. Roof? But what do you think? And why this RV? Is this a ghost accidentally caught on camera? I don't know. Or simply one of Josh's friends messing around? It's and a kid. if it is it's like one a of his friends, hand. they certainly have tiny little hands. Yeah. Watch your step. French Paranormal scary. Explorer Oz from the YouTube channel Project Activity travels to haunted locations all over France to investigate and record proof of the paranormal. In this episode, he investigates a house that is said to be extremely haunted. The house's owner, who wishes to remain anonymous, says that both of her grandparents passed away inside the home. She claims that after she moved in with her children, she began to experience terrifying paranormal activity on a daily basis. Every night when she would lie asleep in bed, she says that she would be woken up by the chilling sensation of something stroking and caressing her cheek. That is weird. Even though the nightly event frightened her, she believed that this could be the spirit of one of her grandparents, peacefully watching over her and That's... her children. And if it's but not... Then, one night, something happened that changed her mind forever. I... Just after midnight, as the woman lay sleeping, she was suddenly jolted awake by the feeling of her bed frame violently shaking. Earthquake. The entire bed seemed to levitate off the ground and then seemed yeah. to be forcefully Earthquake. thrown a few feet across the room. The woman now no longer believed that this was the peaceful spirit of one of her grandparents haunting the home. She believed it was something much more dark and sinister. Something that might wish to harm her and her children. The family moved out of the house the very next day, and the home has remained empty ever since. Paranormal Investigator Oz from the YouTube channel Project Activity investigates the mysterious house to figure out just what is haunting the family. In his investigation, he uses some very unconventional tools, like one of which is a small piece of paper placed inside a plexiglass box. The idea is that no wind or air currents can move the paper inside the box. Okay. So the only way it can move is by something supernatural. Oz is setting up a second device in the same room, which I'll get back to in a second. But as he prepares, right behind him, this happens. Well, the subtitles are in the way. Oh, it's moving now. It's not just moving, it's Stop the music! Watch it just fly out. The piece of paper inside the plexiglass box mysteriously moves on its own. Oz doesn't notice and continues setting up his second, rather unusual device a theremin. The theremin is sometimes used as a musical instrument, but it can also oh, be used as a is. sensor. The theremin creates a tone whenever someone comes close to the antenna on top of the device. Okay. This okay. is a theremin, an electronic instrument. Mm -hmm. You produce music or sound by waving your hand into an electrical field. Yeah, I've seen this. So not long after Oz has set up the theremin, That's creepy. something very strange happens. Uh, Stop! It's just getting louder. Just stop! He's running away. <laughs> no, he's not. Okay. Okay. I understood. 
good. Now, just a bit freaked out, he continues on with his investigation. But it seems that whatever was messing with the theremin isn't done with Oz yet. No, we don't. So, comme vous pouvez, j'avais pu penser à essayer une histoire qui est plutôt intéressante. C'est la lanière de ma de ma lampe torche. J'ai l'impression qu'on vient de tirer. Huh? Oz claims that something pulled on his pocket flashlight and broke the strap, causing the flashlight to fall hard to the floor. But then things get downright chilling. Downright chilling. <laughs> Not truly bizarre. <laughs> It's a giant meme now that everyone knows what he says. Truly bizarre. Downright chilly. Pog. What? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, fam. I'm good, though. Get out. A strange whisper can be heard, and a door behind us slams him in the back. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> He's like. Oh. Throughout his investigation, Oz has managed to stay relatively calm. Yeah. But what happens next even frightens him. What? It's a face. 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 It has to be a face. Face. It's face. I'm scared. I'm scared. What? 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 We pushed him down the stairs. Oh, no. Try to kill him. Don't go downstairs. Stop. No. The ghost hunter gets an unexplained push in the back by an invisible force and almost falls down the stairs. Dang. What the woman told him about the dark intentions of the spirit that haunts the home seem to be true, as he has been attacked not once, They're, it's but trying twice, to kill him. by something he just can't see. So, is this house haunted by some dangerous malevolent spirit or demon? Let me know what you think down in the comments. We don't get to see anymore. Oh, I'm sad. That's all for now. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Oh, I'm so sad. That was so good. Just the wrong one, because I'm so used to being by myself. Oh, yeah. That was fun. What do that you was think? scary. That was scary. That was scary. I like how he used some from TikTok, and then, like, the last two were pretty good. <laughs> Which one is your favorite? The one with the window. The, the, yeah. The one with the window where the hand comes down and yeah. hits the top. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Cause like you can't fake. I mean, I guess you can. You definitely can. But why would you? Why would you like get on top of a rusty old RV? How would you do that? And like, it's probably not safe and it was to go like up a there. Kid's hand. It, I don't know about that, but it was a kid's hand. You don't need to do that. I know no that. One can hear me. Though. Yes, they can. They can hear you just ah! fine. See, told you they can hear you just fine. Pog. <laughs> oh gosh. I don't know what else to say. That's kind of crazy. Oh, it's scary. You know. Do you think it was scarier than the last one we watched together? Well, I, I watched the last. Not when I watched it the first. Well, no. No. No? You yes. don't think so? Was, yes? Yeah. It was? Yeah, yeah it was. Really? Yeah, because. Because the last one, we, we jumped a lot. Well, I. Actually, I jumped more in this one, but I, when I first saw the last one, it was with my friends. So I'd seen it twice by the time uh, I watched it with you. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Well, you got anything you want to say? Bye. Just it? That's bye? Yeah. All right. Do you like my shoes? <laughs> yeah, I like your shoes. They're fine. Okay. Stay strong, everyone. Uh, stay safe. Wear your masks.
wear your seat belts and uh, wash your hands and uh, have a nice day.